Traveled all across the world, seen a lot of fancy things, but I've never seen a beauty quite like this. This must be a dream. So I pinch myself out. She hurts, but I guess this must be real. So I'm gonna seize the moment and tell her how I feel. Let me take it to Chile or Costa Rica. Hey guys, it's Tracy in the Young Hollywood studio, and I am hanging with Matt Hunter. What's up? This is the Latino Beaver. Kind of. That's yeah. what people call you, right? That's You're what people sort of... call me, yeah. Kind of. <laughs> a little bit. But I mean, I prefer the Latino Matt Hunter. Yes. He has his own style. But yeah. you do, you have a similar like sound, but you guys are completely yeah, different. We're completely I mean. different. Yeah. So, you know, what's you, you're from New York City. I'm from New York, yeah. But you're got a but whole. I'm Colombian and Italian. So 50% Latino, 50% like white, I guess. I would say. No, yup, yup, girl, let's go, let's go, baby, you can let the rest know that you want me no more. I got fans from coast to coast, they show love everywhere I stay. Everybody yell, oh, loud when the show's over, still I want to see your face, baby and me bonita. When you, you know, when you started singing, do you... Mm -hmm. You know, you, you do a lot of like Spanish and English combined. Yeah, no, when I, when I first started singing, I definitely thought, what can I do so that uh, I can be a little bit different than anyone else that's, that's out there right now? And I thought that I could definitely use, it's an advantage that I speak Spanish and I can use that in my music and make something different, so. Have you had any crazy fan experiences or crazy um, stories? Yeah, I've had like a lot of crazy fan experience actually. Uh, in South America, the fans are just so crazy. Like you have no idea. Like they're called hunters. They're by They're called the way. hunters. Yeah, because my last name's Hunter, and I figured that. Which is so perfect. I, That's it's awesome. so perfect. Exactly. So I figured, oh, hunters. That goes nice. I've actually cheat. I've heard things yeah, about like, like Brazil, and like I've heard that they're, they're like, like much <laughs> different than fans here in the U.S. And that's not a bad thing, but not at all. Just, it's great. Uh, uh, really like touchy and like. Pulley, like they pull, like they pull, like they, they've <laughs> taken so many of my necklaces, so many of like what? my T-shirts. They've ripped. They're crazy. Yeah. They just physically come up to you they and rip them off. They physically come and they try to like hug me, and then when I just start walking away, they start pulling, and then it gets crazy. Especially like when I get They're to hunters. the country they hunt you down. or like exactly or like the city, and when I'm at like the airport, I love. That's like my favorite thing to cause like a commotion at the airport. I just love doing that. So like, what do you like, actually do when you cause a commotion? So I mean. Do like the whole like what hoodie I usually and do sunglasses is that thing. Sometimes like I tweet, like I don't say I just tweet like the terminal that I'm gonna be at in the airport. I just Are you don't serious? say anything else because I like it. I don't know. I think it's fun. I guess I'm 15. You and wanna I just, have crazy I love fans craziness. just running and grabbing it's things fun. off of you? Yeah, <laughs> I think that is like entertaining for me. Traveled all across the world, and seen a lot of fancy things. But I've never seen a beauty quite like this This must be a dream So I pinch myself Ouch, it hurts Man. Well, I guess it must be real So I'm gonna seize the moment And tell her how I feel Let me take it to Chile or Costa Rica Puerto Rico or Colombia We can dance under the sky You have a new thing that you're doing called, what, Fuego Friday? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do, like, a, a weekly vlog now Every Friday, I, well, like Everyone says swag, right? Everyone's like, oh, swag. My word is like fuego. Like when, when what I is say fuego? Like, what, is fuego what does that mean? Well, fuego in Spanish means fire, but I use it as like a swag. Because, you know, I'm Latino. I want to do something different. So I was like, yeah, I got fuego. So like fuego it's Fridays. Kind of awesome, actually. Like, it's cool, it right? flows. Fuego it's cool, Fridays. Yeah, fuego Fridays. <laughs> so every Friday I put out a video, something that I've done that week. And yeah. Everybody, yeah, on the shows. Still, I want to see your face. Uh -huh. Baby, I'm bunny. Who are some of your biggest musical influences? My are biggest, you more like Latino artists or more pop? Um, or I'm more like uh, influences. I definitely love Enrique Iglesias. I kind of want to be like a, a young, more a little bit more like American like Enrique Iglesias. I love that. There's uh, definitely room for that because yeah, there's not that many people your definitely. age. You're only how old? You're I'm 15. 15? Yeah. And one thing that I thought that was really cool is that you were the voice of Yeah, I was the Diego voice of Diego in Good Ego Go uh, two years back. And it was Dora was the Explorer, fun. right? For no, the well, kids show? Well, uh, Diego has his own show. Oh, nice. So, Go Diego Go. I was uh, Diego for two years. How w w isn't back. that like a tagline that you have to like do a signature Yeah, chant but the thing is, is that before, like, uh, 
my voice naturally came out like Diego, but now that my voice changed, that's that, that's why they took me off of the show because my voice started to change, and that's what they usually do. Like, if if the person's yeah. voice starts to change, they switch them out, and uh, yeah. So I can't really sound. People are like, "Oh, can you do the Diego <laughs> voice?" And I was like, "I can't anymore. Like I, I can do like the older <laughs> Diego voice. Like, Di if Diego grew up, that's how he, uh, this is how it sounds." Love everywhere I stay. Everybody else, when the show's over, still I wanna see your face. You know, you have a lot of awesome photos that you yeah. post on your Instagram. Instagram and stuff. So we're gonna talk about your top five favorite. Top five favorite iPhone photos. Yes. yes. So the first one you posted from your last concert in Chile. Yeah, yeah, that was the craziest Chile. concert ever. It was my concert, and I uh, like eleven thousand people showed up. It was in the arena there in Chile. That's awesome. Okay, so the next picture is your bedroom. Yeah, the next Let's picture is my bedroom. This. <laughs> All right, my bedroom. Well, how did I get this idea? Well, I walked in. I love like mini golf. I think it's really fun. And I went into this mini golf place and they had uh, fluorescent lights everywhere. Like, you know, like black lights? Yeah. And they had like, like what fluorescent spray paint on. everywhere. And I thought, <laughs> how, how can I get this but in my room? Because I'm all about like my room, everything's a wireless. Like my lights, everything's controlled on my iPhone. Like music, everything's wireless. Like, I don't Whoa. have to plug anything in. So uh, awesome. yeah, I put like eight black lights all around my room and graffitied like all my room with uh, fluorescent spray paint. It looks pretty, pretty, pretty fuego-ish. Pretty dope. Pretty fuego-ish. That's gonna become a new catchphrase. Yeah. I can already see. So the third picture is with your BFF. And oh yeah. He's a DJ. Yeah, he's he's my he DJ. He goes everywhere actually. with you. He travels everywhere with me. It's my boy Ryan, DJ uh, Hova T. He's awesome. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming in. I'm of course. excited to see what's yeah, going to happen in the future. Definitely. And I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot of this guy, Matt Hunter. Cool. Thank you. Of course. You want me